Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss another example which will be about conveyor line with rejection. So let's look at the example first. Conveyor line with rejection. The conveyor should stop for 10 seconds and a puncher will be on for 2 seconds when a defect is detected. There is a sensor that is detecting uh, the defect in a uh, product in an object then the conveyor will stop for 10 seconds and then a puncher will be activated for 2 seconds and then conveyor will once again start. So for this example we will use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. We will be also using some timers like TP. So let's uh, move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this conveyor line with rejection example. So this is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we have to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we have to add our inputs and outputs. So here we have two inputs. First one is start button that will start the whole process and then we have a sensor that is detecting the defect and then we have two outputs the first one is the motor that is rotating the conveyor let's say conveyor it is actually the motor which is driving the conveyor and then we have a puncher that will be also some mechanism that will be a solenoid which will just activate that uh, cylinder or it will be uh, something uh, that is controlled by a motor so we have only two inputs and two outputs and then we will go to program blocks and then main ob1 so here we will be drawing the ladder diagram firstly i will zoom into it like this and then i will insert a normally open contact that will be for a start button and then I will insert a coil for conveyor. So this will be start button and then it will be conveyor. So when start button is turned on the conveyor will start and I will insert one more normally open contact for a sensor and a coil for a memory bit. So this will be a sensor that is detecting the defect. So when the sensor gets on, this M0.0, .0, this is a memory bit will turn on and this M0.0 .0 will turn off conveyor here. So here I will use a normally closed contact that will be M0.0. .0. That is when sensor gets activated, when it detects the defect, this M0.0 .0 gets through and when this M0.0 .0 gets through, the circuit will break here and this conveyor will stop but the conveyor should stop for 10 seconds so for this we'll use a timer operation that is a tp for this m0.0 .0, this uh, m0.0 .0 should uh, turn on should remain on for only 10 seconds and this conveyor will turn off for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds this M0.0 .0 gets through off and when it gets off the conveyor will once again start. And when this uh, conveyor gets stopped then a puncher will be activated. For that I will open the branch here at a coil that will be a puncher but this puncher should get activated only for 2 seconds. So for that we will use another timer here that will be a TP and the preset value for the puncher will be 2 seconds. So when start button is turned on, the conveyor gets started and when sensor detects there is a defect, this M0.0 .0 gets through for 10 seconds and this M0.0 .0 turns off this conveyor for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds this M0.0 .0 gets off and when this M0.0 .0 gets off the current will flow through it as a result this conveyor will again start. With that, when sensor gets activated, a puncher will be activated and it will <coughs> reject that component having the defect. So it will get activated for 2 seconds. So for now, we will start the simulation here. So 
load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU here. Okay. And then start monitoring. And then I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. And we will wait for some time. After that, I will go to here simulation tables and then simulation table one. And then here, I will right click and then load project tags. So as you can see here, here will be all the inputs and outputs. So firstly, we need to uh, turn on the start button and you can see here, this conveyor turns on and it remains on and then when there is an object having a defect, when there is an object having a defect, then the sensor will turn on. The sensor, the sensor should turn on, and when the there is a defect, the sensor gets activated. As a result, this M0.0 .0 gets through, and this M0.0 .0, that is a normally closed contact here gets uh, this conveyor off for 10 seconds, and after 10 seconds, M0.0 .0 gets off. And this conveyor again starts. We repeat this. <clears throat> the conveyor gets off and sensor detects, and this puncher gets on for two seconds. So I will repeat this. You can see here puncher gets activated for two seconds, and after that it will go to its initial position. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.